First at 11, an hour's long standoff comes to an end in Boca Raton. Officers shut down part of West Palmetto Park Road for hours. WPTV's Joel Lopez is live with what we're learning tonight. Joel. Hey, Tanya, Boca Raton police confirming with me that the man inside that home was found dead. Now, if you take a look down the road, you can still see an active scene. Police tell me that they have located the possible explosive and they're waiting on a specialized team to come and help remove the device. A possible explosive caused chaos near the Lincolnwood Village community in Boca Raton. It's scary because at any moment, if that's really what's going on, you know, a lot of our friends that live in that area are in danger. Boca Raton police say a person called 911 after a man handed them a pin from what they say resembled a grenade, then went inside his house. It's scary because you don't know. Yeah, they say he might have one explosive device. He ha may have many. Uh, his house can be booby trapped. Um, there could be so many things going on. Police say the call came in after two o'clock, causing police to evacuate the two closest homes. Well, it's Boca and this kind of thing doesn't go on here. We live in a very safe area. Scary. It's, it's frightening. Scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The possible danger caused police to shut down portions of West Palmetto Park Road and the crisis negotiator team worked into the night. Blocking off the roads, keeping people. It's a little it's a little tough on the people trying to get home, but it's for the best and they're doing a good job down there. Boca Raton police say the SWAT team, drones and a bomb unit were all on scene and with the help of their robotic equipment, they confirmed the man inside was dead. We both raised our children here, a quiet little neighborhood and never had anything like this happen. Now we have grandchildren, next generation. I was going out to walk my grandson when this all started. I saw the SWAT team coming and down the street and yeah, it was unsettling. Right now, Boca Raton police say there is no threat to the public and they're working to notify the next of kin. For now, reporting live in Boca Raton, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5. All right, thank you very much, Joel. And a reminder tonight for anyone who is suffering from a mental health crisis, you can call or text the number 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. The National Network of Crisis Centers provides free emotional support 24 hours a day, seven days a week.